All right, today's road trip video starts at Zasavitsa Nature Reserve. So let's see what this place is all about. All right, introducing the domestic Balkan ass. Now it looks like a little sweet fella here, lays in a boat on the ground. But did you know that cheese from this animal and specifically cheese from this nature reserve is valued at 1000 euros per kilogram. So it's for this reason and it's for this price, Ivana and I will not be eating the cheese in this video, but it is tremendously interesting that something special about this donkey cheese is uh, tremendously valuable and it's found in some of the most expensive restaurants around the world. Now, the nature reserve here is got a huge piece of land and there is this uh, rickety and rustic, but still solid and safe wooden tower to venture up, which gives a pretty good viewpoint of all the land they have, where all the donkeys and other animals are roaming free and enjoying themselves. Oh, ho, ho. look at a mud bath, Ivana. Can you see? Oh my goodness. Oh, the pig is... Wow. He's having a, a party. It's a pig. Wow. He's loving it right now. <laughs> Absolutely. Piggies. They're going home after a mud bath. Uh, mud bath. Oh, they're my favorite. They're so cute. <laughs> now, we were hoping to jump on the vehicle and get out there and get up close to some of these uh, liquid gold producing donkeys, but evidently we've missed the vehicle and I guess it only leaves once every couple hours so yes. unfortunately we will not be able to get up close and personal <laughs> oh. with these donkeys and other animals but lucky for us we have the drone as well as our big lens on the camera and so we got some good footage and there's animals all around and overall was a good experience for only 400 dinars per person uh, simple property to enjoy and like I said we missed the vehicle but still a good experience for us yeah, I enjoyed it. This is better than I thought it would be, you know, the nature preserve. Yeah, it's just sort of a pit stop along the way and mm -hmm. it's a good experience. There's there's stuff to do here and it's a nice quiet property. Yes, very peaceful. Fantastic. With the smell of donkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't like to, to be around a random puppy? When you're sitting on a bench and a puppy just comes over, that's a good feeling, you know? Yeah. Everyone loves a puppy. Oh. It almost looks like a fish, doesn't it? No, it's gotta be a bug. It's gotta be an insect. Well, anyway, I guess it's time for lunch, no? Right, second stop today is an ethno park where hopefully we can learn more about different cultures and different people groups here in Serbia and also hopefully they're serving some food here because last time Ivana made dinner must have been the 90s I can't even remember <laughs> no let's get some lunch man good can I order some food can I have this one okay what is it uh, pork meat Pork meat. Yes. Real. Good. Oat meal grill, yes. Grill. Ah, Fantastic. Okay. With cheese and bacon. Uh, Very good order. Uh, Pide, uh, potato. Okay. Oh, no. Yes, potato. Uh, and uh, with uh, pasta. Uh, okay, uh, I'll have with potato. potato okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Salad. Very helpful. Mm. Shopska uh, salad. Shopska. One okay. and we share. Yeah. One. One. One, one okay. Shopska. Okay. Thank bread? you. Bread? No bread. No thanks. Bread? Too okay. hot for bread. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Oh. And there is chicken here. Wow. Might be uh, our lunch for today. My goodness. So we are at an ethno park which is basically kind of like a modeled mini version of what a serbian village might look like it's kind of cute oh look at this got some homemade rakia 
and bookshelf very cute actually and we're just eating there there's a restaurant here so we're waiting for our food very cool found another cute house wow there's a sewing machine as well here so this is kind of like a simple village house in serbia what it might look like in real life as well and it looks like this one is like a farm and oh <gasps> i just found something i think these are on sale guys i think they have a small shop here this must be like ivar i think like homemade wow look at this and jams i'm sure they're jams and i have no idea what they are raspberry jam this is ivar i think oh my gosh this is so cute and hi hi baby hi <laughs> Wow. Oh, oh, no, you cannot. Bye. <laughs> so pretty great place to check out. Although I guess an ethno park is not really a museum mm -hmm. because there's no signboards. No. They've done a great job. There's dozens and dozens of places to look at and they're really well done, but there's no text or explanation of what's going on. So it's just a visual experience. Although it's still a nice way to burn half an yes. hour before lunch comes. Yeah, of course. Nice experience. Lunch. Ivana, <laughs> if you were going to buy one, what would you buy? There are so many. This things. one looks like a million bucks. It says a thousand dinars. It's like 10 bucks American. Uh, I might go for this. Is that Ivar? There's some that kind Ivar. of Ivar. Yes. In, by the way, a Coca Cola jar, which is something new. Uh, maybe it's more like oh. jam? Strawberry. I don't know what these are. Ivana, I think we gotta buy one. I'll follow your lead, but we gotta buy one. Yeah, we can buy this smaller one. Smaller one, 500. Yes. Yeah, the packaging looks so good. And just the whole arrangement here, I'm sure it's really good. Yes, I think it's homemade here. Gotta be. I thought, you know what, Ivana? This might be pepper jelly. Now that I'm in the light out of that room, this might be pepper jelly. It's not Ivar, huh? Maybe it's not Ivar. Maybe it's still good though. Maybe. <laughs> Five bucks, come on. Amazing. Yo, how did I get so lucky, Ivana? This is almost like a sandwich with pork on top, pork on bottom, and bacon and cheese in the middle. <laughs> pork instead of bread. And That's potato me. balls. Mmm, I might steal that. I got so that. lucky. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. <laughs> the people at home are not going to believe that the menus in Cyrillic and Google Translate will not do the Serbian Cyrillic. <laughs> so I literally just chose anything random on the menu and it's the best order of my life. I can already tell it's so good. Look at that. Oh man, I got lucky. Road trip days, best days. Woo. Let's eat. Mmm. Which? <laughs> Five star food, let's be mm. clear. So I got goulash. It's also good. You're a goulash girl. You seem to order goulash a lot. I like goulash. It's so like comfort food, you know? True. I prefer this than grilled stuff. But man, your potato balls is amazing. They're super good. I would come here just to order potato potato balls. Yeah. And... The trouble with Shopska salad is when it comes out, all the cheese is on top. But then when you move it over here, the cheese falls to the bottom. <laughs> you really just want to eat it right out of the bowl. I think you're supposed to actually mix it. Oh, you're supposed to mix it. I think so. This is kind of a good idea then. Okay, we're still learning the subtleties of Shopska salad. Okay? <laughs> Ivana's in heaven. <laughs> too bad. I think they're still too small. 
for the seeds <laughs> to be eaten. Ivana's had a dream to eat the sunflower seeds for like two years now. <laughs> we gotta make it happen, Ivana. Poof. <laughs> All right, check this place out, everybody. They're calling this glamping. Although I think it really puts the glam in glamping. This is as about as glamorous as you're gonna get for camping, including uh, inflatable jacuzzi on a concrete pad right out front. We've got our little deck here. We got some bicycles. We got a barbecue over there. And I guess this unit is built out of like, uh, like a container for a truck or a ship. So, it's glamping, but it's almost like uh, a cottage. Ooh, super nice. What a design. Oh, wow. the perfect food for our mystery sauce. Oh, perfect. That's right. You're right. So nice design in here. Uh, got the couch, got the TV, electricity, air conditioning. Hard to call it glamping with AC. This is a cottage, yes. man. This is a cottage experience at glamping prices. Uh, very nice. Got a bedroom, got our bathroom. This is a nice place to discover. Full bathroom. Come on, oh, this is a nice glamping. Yeah. Bro, we got the champagne going, Ivana. Fire up the what? champagne. Rose petals on the tray in the bed. Wow. Good find, Ivana, good find. <laughs> good find, this is an Instagram uh, uh, accommodation that we saw. Love this. Good cabin. find. Very, very good find, uh, but I do have to get settled in here. Oof, maybe we'll eat some charcuterie and have some mystery sauce in a minute here. Mm -hmm. Come on, good stuff. Good very stuff. nice. Ooh, yeah, first what thing first. What could be better than this, Ivana? Uh-huh. Now, am I gonna... Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Party starts now, Ivana. I will be ready for that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> God, it's <laughs> now guys, I'm not sure how new the idea of glamping is in Serbia, mm -hmm. but the concept is glamorous camping. Right. It is pretty glamorous. So Come if on. you like nature, but you also like comfort, this is what you want. Jevali. Right? Jevali, Ivana, Jevali. Mm. So good. <sighs> because here we are in a popular forest, which coincidentally, Canadian poplar trees. Wow. Thank you very much. But uh, all the comfort of a cottage right. with some very natural, very relaxing breeze through the trees mm. uh, experience. Glamorous camping. Amazing. Good booking, Ivana. Woo! If we're on a road trip like we are doing camping, you get very tired very quickly. Mm -hmm. Camping is uncomfortable. True. But glamping is the answer. So true, true. Uh, let's eat. Probably. Yes, come on. Look at this. Look at what they've prepared for us. Uh, very by the way, fancy. some very unique treats here. We got the, the olive with the almond in the middle. Mm -hmm. You see this? Wow. We've also got what appears to be a <gasps> cheese and walnut on a stick. Well, let's party, dude. Let's uh, let's try our mystery jam here. Which, what do you think, Ivar? I think it's jam, it looks like jam. Try it, try it, try it. Try it, see if it's savory or if it's sweet. Oh, it's not Ivar. Try it. What is it? <laughs> what is it? Sweet? So the crackers are a very strong garlic flavor. Oh. <laughs> confusing my taste buds for what this mystery jam is. Yeah, let's try with cheese. It's jam. I think it's peach jam. Ooh. Sounds good, actually. Peach jam. I think it's peach jam. All right. Either way, very good. And what could be better? Yeah, very good. and champagne. Oh, let's enjoy. Let's party. Oh my gosh, Ivana looks so happy. Champagne in a hammock. <laughs> good one, Ivana. Good one. Yo, shout out to Canadian poplar trees. Perfectly straight all the way up with no low branches. So tons of room to get around down here in the bottom. If you wanna play sports at the badminton net or whatever. And yet they're so tall with the leaves up top that the wind going through the trees. Bro, this is some A1 chilling right here. 
Come on. Cheers, everybody. Bing. Ivana, you are one special kind of lady. Going in a hot tub on the hottest day of the year, mind you. <laughs> With a glass of champagne. Yo, you actually look so cool right now. <laughs> too much <laughs> are you breathing so relaxing here <laughs> so nice oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right you want to finally convince me it's nice it's not hot, it's kind of refreshing. But I'm a beer on the patio kind of guy. All right, just, I just took a really nice hot shower and they have actually prepared a set of bikes here for us to tour around the village. And also a kayak to go down the Drina River, which is very, very, very beautiful. But unfortunately, I don't think we'll have time to tour the village and to kayak around the river today because we arrived kind of late, but we are ready for dinner. So let's chill and eat some dinner. Ah, oh my gosh, this is so romantic. Oh, thanks, Steve. <laughs> Oh what my goodness! What more could you ask for, Ivana? Wow! What more could you ask for? And I think once the sun goes down fully, it's gonna be even more beautiful. With mm -hmm. the candles, come on! Amazing! <laughs> this is so romantic! Please, we can't even have like a small wedding here. You know what I mean? <laughs> True! Wow! Cold veggies. Yo, this is so good, Ivana. You're gonna love it. What? Eggplant and garlic. Oh. Sorry, sorry. I won't eat off your plate. Sorry, sorry. Eggplant, my favorite. It's really vegetable. good. And onion, sorry. It's really good. Mm. You're gonna love it here. Thanks. I'm guessing this is Ivar. Yeah, this is Ivar. This is not apricot jam that we bought. <laughs> <laughs> Ivar and some cornbread and egg. The egg is really good too. Jeez. The almond is a funny touch, but it's good. It works. Mmm. Wow, your belly, Ivana, your belly, your belly. Look, even the one glass is fancy. Come on, Ivana. Your belly. <laughs> cornbread and Ivar for the win. Actually, this cornbread is a lot like what they have in the southern part of the United States. They call it biscuits, like in Atlanta or Memphis. Yeah, southern. Yeah. Southern food. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it's also Balkan food. Maybe it's like also Balkan Serbian. food. Yeah. <laughs> What a night, babe. We're the luckiest people it. on earth. Come on. We got dessert too. I think it's uh, dumplings. Oh, you know what it is? Plum dumplings, I think. It's what I would call gombozi in, in Romanian. Right. Pretty good. The jam is thick. It doesn't even run out. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great night. Mm. Beautiful place. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Looks like it's state time. I'm so lit up from this fire. <laughs> Just perfect. Plum. Oh, made from here. Plum. Rakia. Plum brandy. Very good. Yeah, try it. It's homemade. Homemade, yes. Homemade. This Homemade. is the best kind of rakia. From a plastic bottle. Oh, should so. always be in a plastic <laughs> bottle. <laughs> oh, that's good rakia. Yeah. That's good rakia. Wow. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> Number one. I think so. I think so. Thank you. Voila. Thank you. It's made from... Plum. Plum. Yes. Yeah. Plum rakia. Steve Valley. Steve Valley, Steve. Steve. It's movie night, guys. Movie night. 
Here we go. You won't believe what we're watching. <laughs> All the King's Men. I think it's like a very dramatic movie. <laughs> Out here at midnight in the woods. Come on. Woo. All right, everybody, the vlog continues. It was supposed to end last night, but we woke up this morning. They brought us this burrack mm -hmm. with cheese inside. And it's so good. <laughs> Amazing with yogurt. Yum. Mm. Oh. Mm. I've had a really good time here. Short, but good. Really nice. It really makes you wonder, if cheese can be this good in borek, what would a borek be with 1,000 euro donkey <laughs> cheese? That would be the best thing ever made. Yeah, probably. There you have it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Shout out to glamping. Yes. Good times. Rina River Clamping. Oh, I want to stay here forever. Same. Oh, yeah. And one more thing. Yesterday, we were flying the drone, and we saw a very beautiful and very mysterious formation mm -hmm. on the other side of the Drina River, which is actually in Bosnia. Now, this thing could be naturally occurring and just beautiful, but there's cars driving down the middle of it, and it's sort of symmetrical, almost looks like a farm of some sort. Right. I have no idea what this is. If you know what this is, let me know. I captured it with the drone and I thought that is something unique looking. Mm -hmm. Almost looks like the palm in Dubai. Yeah, that's right. That sort of man-made island. Uh, it could be naturally occurring and just beautiful. I really have no idea. <laughs> Let me know. Like Djokovic, baby.